Hi everybody, I'm in my garden today and I wanted to share with you how I grow my tomatoes. Now every year I'm usually asked how I get my tomatoes to be so big, hundreds of tomatoes on them, how do I do it? I thought I would share it with you and my friends who've been asking me. So you can do it too, it's really not such a science. So um, I'm going to show you from the start since this is my bushes starting right now and they're just now beginning at the top here to produce flowers so that's when you want to start pruning them so this is actually one of the main secrets for tomatoes now one of the things before you get that far ahead is to make sure your soil is really good I have here a heavily mulched soil I put lots of mulch on top I have layers and layers of hay and under that I have a composted horse manure and I have a regular topsoil under there and I'm always adding to it as well as around the base of my tomatoes after I've planted them and they've been growing for a while the next thing I would do is I add the eggshells into the soil and I showed you that in the eggshell video earlier so make sure around the base to make sure your soil is uh, having enough of the nutrients. Eggshells are excellent for that. You would just uh, crush up some eggshells and put it underneath the first layer of the two of the dirt and just bury it near to the roots. But be careful not to uh, break the roots of course. And that's what I do for my soil. Let's see, and as, I, as they are growing up I usually add to the soil amendments such as more eggshells or I'll add to it like compost tea and this helps the soil nutrients to stay rich because tomatoes take a lot of nutrients so they like a lot of good stuff in the soil they're actually one of the most complicated vegetables I believe in the garden and for me I've taken a while to get them to grow perfectly how I want them the top of the plant here okay and it is the one that is sprouting the flower now when you're looking close this is the important part about tomatoes is in between the branches they're gonna on the next one right here where my finger is it's starting to make a, a sucker they call it and right here you can see a sucker starting to grow right here tiny one you want to make sure these are gone so you just pinch them off with your finger any of those suckers that you see between the tomatoes so I see another one right here so I just pinch these off and you want the nutrients to stay with the flowers so that the tomatoes will be getting the most nutrients now with the tomatoes they love to make lots of leaves so you want to discourage that as much as you can so the next tip you would want to make sure you do is, uh, you see these are the uh, bigger mature leaves and then you can tell the difference from the newer ones that just started. You see that there? Now on the bush itself there should only be maybe two of these main branches. The rest of them you want to get rid of. And they will make tons and tons of leaves and we don't want the leaves because then you have less tomatoes so what I do I just come in here and on the main branches I pinch off the leaves on each side back and forth and I leave just a few so that I know it's not getting too many uh, nutrients wasted on making more leaves on the rest of the branches I'm just going to take off depending on where the flowers are now since it's still a kind of a young tomato plant I don't want to go crazy on cutting off all the branches because I wanted to make more flowers first so but it's already flowered on the top now near the top the top um, um, I don't know a couple of inches keep all the branches that's fine that'll just encourage it to keep going up and making more flowers as it goes now near the base of the plant Let's see if I can go in there and show you. I think I've already pruned this one off. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. 
you want to make sure that the base of the plant is um, at least about two inches up. There's nothing. So you want to, if there's any branches down here, you want to take them off completely. And this will help discourage diseases too. So you want to just keep it clean. You can just pinch them off all the way up about two inches up the main branch there. Okay. Now it's looking good. Okay, now you can go ahead and look through each of the leaves where they are connected. Um, you see these are the sucker is coming here from the main branch. There's a sucker growing here. Now before you take it off, just check and see if it's making any flower in the middle. And this one is, so I want to keep it. And if you keep too many of them, then they won't develop well. So just decide how many you want to keep so you can get started. Now I'm going to keep about three of these plus the one on the top. So I have the main one and this one has a flower already on this one here and this one here. And the rest of the um, branches I'm going to take off. So just go ahead around your bush, take off the extra branches. It is will help to minimize the power being wasted on these branches and go towards the flowers that you're trying to make. So those are my three on the bottom that I want. I'm going to go ahead and pinch off all the rest. And the extra branch underneath the one that's making the flower, you don't need that either. There. I'm just going to leave the one or two of the main branches on there and the top part. And now this is how I do my tomatoes as they are growing and since they're just started and um, like I said I don't go too much yet but as they grow they should get at least eight or ten feet tall and as they are growing you want to keep doing this because they go crazy making leaves now you can buy a special soil to um, soil amendment that helps to decrease the amount of leaves but I just usually end up pruning them either way so it's up to you Okay, so this is how it should look when you're done pruning it. You should just have one, two main branches, maybe three on the top left, and the one, two, three flower shoots I'm going to keep. Don't let too much be left on the vine, or it'll take forever for your tomatoes to get started. Okay, let's look at this one over here. I think it has the same thing because all of them are about about two feet tall bushes right now. They're just the starting of my tomato season here. So you want to do the same thing for each of your bushes. Make sure it's two inches cleared from the bottom. Find the few branches that you like that has already flowers on it plus the top that has flowers and get rid of all the rest. If you don't see it making enough flowers yet then just wait and prune that one. In, a, in maybe a couple of days, it'll probably show signs of a flowering. So that's about it for making perfect tomatoes. that will grow a ton of tomatoes. And hopefully you'll have the same success as I do. I always have lots of requests on how I do this. So I hope that helps all my friends out there and the rest of you who are watching to sh be able to grow these tomatoes just like I do. And if you have any other good tips about growing tomatoes, go ahead and leave them a comment below and let me know. I'd love to be able to share them with everyone. And let me know how your garden is going.